Ramblin' Rusty here. I have arrived at Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. I paid my $7 for a trail fee and I'm headed up to the mountain. Founded in 1934 by Rosalie Edge. It is the world's first refuge for birds of prey. It had been a popular shooting site because of its location on a major hawk migration corridor and a 1929 bounty placed on northern goshawks. Through the work of its founder and early supporters such as Richard Pugh, it became a raptor conservation research, education and training facility, and a hawk watching destination for bird and nature lovers globally. Which, which trail would you like to know about? I don't know. Where do I go? What's the best way for a lookout? Is that the lookout trail? Yeah, it's the lookout trail. That is this orange trail right here. So if you would go straight up this hill, it would take you right to South Lookout, which is a very beautiful view. Then you'd make a left and just keep following that and it'd take you right up to North. Okay, that, that, that's where I'm headed. Uh, let's see what time it is. Can we... This is the South Lookout. I stopped to take a look at this sign right here to the straight ahead where I'm looking. It says River of Rocks Trail. I thought that's what I was on already. I will continue on up that way. This must be a stream of rocks. Here's another section of trail. Looking up, looking down, still going up, plenty of rocks. Uh, I think we're getting close. I don't know, but uh, up ahead is a set of stairs. But there's blue sky beyond it. Come on by, come on by. I've arrived here at the north <laughs> overlook. Before the turn of the century, much industrial activity took place here. Excavation of sand for building purposes for glassware went on for many years. Originally, the sand was carted to the Dyersville by way of the road over which you have come. Later, perhaps around 1890, the area came to the hands of J.D. Stone Company. The company built a track on the north side of the mountain called the Slide. Cards were located in the hall at the right. Push through the cut to your left to a level area at the head of the tracks where a huge drum with steel cables stood. North side of the mountain called the Slide. Cards were located in the hall at the right. Push through the cut to your left to an 
level area at the head of the tracks where a huge drum with steel cables stood. A blacksmith's shop stood nearby. That's the sunset overlook and the slide. And it says the trail to sunset overlook requires scrambling on rock. Well, I went to the north lookout. And guess what I had to do when I got there? Scramble over rock. Heading back down, this is a beautiful vista here, overlooking the mountains. Right now, it's a beautiful trail. Seventy-four years ago, when I was 16, I went to Shenandoah Valley Academy. And every year in September, they would take a group from the academy and we would travel up to Hawk Mountain for the weekend. We would leave Friday and uh, get there in time to set up camp. We camped out, there were both boys and girls there. And we would camp out and then uh, we would, uh, Sabbath, we spent all day Sabbath up on the top of the mountains. And uh, I don't remember anything about the hike going up there. Uh, but uh, now, 74 years later, that I'm 80, uh, the hike was not really steep, but it was uh, strewn with rocks. These weren't boulders. These were size of rocks, maybe the size of a football, pointy rocks, not many nice rounded rocks like you'd find in a river or out west. But uh, we'd travel up there and uh, get up to the top. And it was just a little over a mile up. And uh, like I say, it was not a steep hike like going up to Crabtree Falls. Anyway, I went up there and I saw some uh, hawks and everything that came back down. But I was so thankful that I had my walking stick. It kept me from falling. I did trip a number of times and uh, I had my good hiking boots on, so I did not twist an ankle. But uh, it was a great experience. And the last part of this vlog that you see is the uh, inside the nature center there at the Hawk Mountain Sanctuary, showing some of the history of it. And also I, I wandered through the uh, gift shop. But it was a great experience. And I guess I can say that I can count that off my bucket list, but uh, I don't, really don't have a bucket. If I did, it would have a hole in it. And uh, But I'm so glad I went back to see what it was like 74 years ago when I hiked up there for the very first time. You all need to come and check out Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. Ramblin' Rusty, signing off for now. Check you all later.